Breath of the Wild walkthrough, part to whatever part this is, I think we're well into the 20s by now, and we still haven't killed our first divine beast. Well, that's just how this game goes. This video is going to be kind of pointless, but I'm going to be uh, uploading it anyway. So by now you should probably have at least one or two more Korok seeds, which means we're going to head on back to that Korok guy. Uh, who's near the entrance of Kakariko, so I had him starred on the map at the beginning of this video, I think. Maybe I didn't, but anyway, he's just outside of this pathway. You should remember him. You ran into him when you were running up here to Kakariko Village. And we're going to be turning in another set of Korok seeds and get another inventory expansion. I think I choose weapons again because uh, you can never have too many weapons. And I also decided to take a picture of some of these guys. I mean, you can never take too many pictures. I doubt I will ever fully complete the album, but maybe one day if I get really bored, I'll want to do that on my main file. There's no way I'm completing it on this file because that's just way too much effort. Uh, there's also a rock here, which you can use things like war hammers to break open, and you'll want to do this when you can. You get opals, you get flint. Mostly at the early game, flint is pretty useful because you can create fires with it, lets you adjust the time of day and all that. Uh, there's also a couple of mushrooms around this tree, you know, all the usual things that you're going to run in, or that you're going to run into. And the first Korok on the right there that I'm just passing that we completed on the way up here. So you only need one more Korok seed to get this guy to go back to his forest, but if you have two of them, you'll be able to expand whatever you expanded the first time you talked to him. In my case, it was weapons. So I think I have three Korok seeds, but I'm only going to be spending two of them. Uh, so when you do talk to him and expand something again, he's going to say he has to head back home, he's going he's gonna to go back to his Korok forest, and that is a forest that is a little bit later in the game. We could go there immediately, but I'm going to wait a little bit, I think. Uh, its usefulness isn't going to be too, you know, it's not going to be too great until a little bit, once we're a little bit more advanced, but I'll, I'll explain more about that as time goes on. So let this guy finish his dance, expand whatever you chose, he'll head on back, and that'll be it for this video.